Hi, I'm Allie Dosnell for We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm so excited about the new Foil Quill Freestyle Pens. They are a game-changing tool in the craft industry. Let me share a couple of my favorite things about them with you. I love that they're portable, so you can bring them along pretty much anywhere. If you're going to a crop or a retreat with your friends, you don't have to drag your electronic cutting machine with you and it makes it so much easier to foil on the go. I love to use our um, battery pack because it has two USB ports. So if I want to use two different size tips, I can have them heating at the same time. Um, you can also plug them into your laptop, your tablet, or a wall adapter, um, and they're just super easy to use. Another favorite thing I love about them is that you can use them to foil on projects that don't fit in your electronic cutting machine. So if you've got a large bag or something that you can't get into your machine, you can totally foil on it with the freestyle pens. So let me share a tip with you. I'm not super great at hand lettering or drawing or anything like that, but I do have an extensive um, stamp collection like most crafters, and I love to use my stamps to make templates for tracing for the Foil Freestyle pens. So let me show you how. I've gone ahead and cut this little mini envelope using my mini envelope punch board, and I wanna add some foil right in the center. You can see right down here, where I've already got this finished one. So I'm gonna show you how to add that image in the center using stamps. So I like to use the magnetic mat as my work surface because it's really easy to hold things in place um, without going through all of the um, placement tape. So I'm gonna put my material down, my foil down on top, and then I'm gonna use the magnets to just kind of smooth out the foil. and get a nice transfer that way. All right, so I've got my stamps already placed on my mini precision press. Um, these are, it's just some flowers with a little hooray. And so I'm going to take some um, permanent ink and just ink up my stamps. And you don't have to worry about getting like a perfect inking job because this is just gonna be a template for you. So once I've done that, I'm gonna scoop my magnets out of the way just a little bit so that I can get this precision press in to get a nice, good image. And just press down. And again, I'm not worried too much about how um, perfect that image is because it's just a template. So for this one, I'm going to use my bold tip so that I can draw nice big lines um, to get these images transferred. So I'm just going right over the inked image with my bold tip. And the nice thing is, is you can see as you're working where you've already foiled. So you know where you're at once you pick your pen up and you start over. So I'm finishing up here. One thing I wanna mention is that as you're doing this, you may get some of the ink on the tip of your pen. If that happens, no problem. Just wait till your pen cools and then clean it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball and it's good as new. All right, so let's see what we've done here. Cute. Okay, so then what I did is I um, just folded up my envelope and taped it shut. And then I added some washi tape and some stickers um, to get that completed. And that's a fun little, you can add a fun little card in there and include that with a gift. So get out your stamps, play around, use them as templates on your foil quill, freestyle pen projects, and have fun crafting. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dazdal with We Are Member Keepers.